Welcome to my kitchen. So today I would like to talk about a little bit of dashi, okay? Uh, how Japanese uh, make broth or stock, all right? It's, it's so many different type of um, dashi um, you can find. Dashi probably, uh, it means it's, it's a stock, but um, to make that, the most popular thing is called uh, katsuo bushi. Uh, there's a lot of different kind of bushi. It, it, uh, it's basically um, dry, uh, roasted, and it almost um, they ferment it, dry, ferment, dry aged and ferment the fish. Usually um, bonito, but uh, there's a, a tuna or uh, some other fish as well. Anyway, so the most popular thing probably is the, to the, to you uh, make dashi with combination of carob and bonito, okay, bonito flake like that. This we call it um, hanagatsu. Uh, it's um, it's kind of the better uh, grade of uh, bushi, okay, and then. For vegan people, you can use only carrot to make dashi, or better yet, you can com uh, combine with dried shiitake mushroom because uh, when dr dried shiitake mushroom and carrot get together, it's just the umami just multiplies like 100 times. And uh, there's a lot of different kind of shiitake. But uh, if you um, can get um, shiitake from Japan, um, I suggest you you get a shiitake called Dosanko. It, it has kind of a, a weird looking, um, almost like design to it, and this is kind best kind. Okay, and of course uh, you can use this is dried on sardine okay this this is a great way to make a miso soup actually um, and what you want to do is you want to always remove the head of the fish and and the gut part uh, because uh, liver is bitter okay and and then I'm gonna show you uh, later on how to make uh, dashi as well but there is a uh, there's a first dashi and second dashi. So first dashi, oh, of course, uh, I sometimes used uh, the dried um, scallop, uh, and uh, um, I just got this. It's, it's a powder form, and uh, there's no preservative or any like weird chemical stuff in it. So uh, it's convenience like that. Or you can uh, you can get the dried scallop if if you you get a chance to buy those. Uh, it gives great flavor, richness to like, for example, if you are making Chinese dish, this is really good, okay? Of course, some um, some chef will use uh, dried red snapper or um, flying fish, dried flying fish, we call it ago uh, dashi, it's, it's fabulous. So anyway, first dashi is the one that uh, you uh, make a stock for the first time, okay? Uh, uh, so this way, uh, the first dash is most most flavorful, uh, rich, um, uh, rich, sophisticated taste, okay? So this is the, the dashi that you use for something that you want to emphasize the dashi flavor, like chawan mushi. It's a savory Japanese custard. I'll show you how to make it later too, um, some other time. Dashi maki tamago, it's, it's a Japanese omelet. It's like a layers of layer of, of um, like omelet. It's almost like a bomb kuchen. Uh, it's like a German uh, tree cake. Um, which I adore, I love. And the sushi tamago, you know, the, the little bit of sweeter uh, Japanese omelet that uh, the you know, sushi restaurants serve. Okay, or a clear soup. 
Uh, this is crucial if you want to make clear soup you really always always want to use first dashi okay um soba sauce soba noodle sauce tempura uh, sauce um and a lot of nabe mono uh we we have uh, this pot um casserole dish that we serve during winter it's like a family style okay um it's it's very very important that you use first dashi okay so second dashi is uh what what is second dashi so after you you uh take first dashi you don't throw away uh the ingredients and then you want you wanna you you recycle that um the ingredients to make uh dashi again um it's it's simmering a little bit more but then um it will not give you um a lot of flavor like a first dashi but this is this is a really great way to uh not to waste uh your ingredients and you can still um get substantial amount of a flavor so the second dashi you can uh use um for a lot of simmering like uh chikuzeni it's it's a chicken and 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 a lot of different uh, vegetable uh cooked together braised uh, simmering in a long time or buta kakuni it's um simmered um japanese uh, pork dish sometimes uh, we use that for ramen noodle okay for the uh, you know the topping it's wonderful uh or simmering fish okay so anyway um, today, uh, you and I talked about dashi, okay? And uh, um, I hope you will enjoy this uh, video and um, I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.